All right, guys, welcome back to Rob's Arcade. I'm your host, Rob French, and it is time uh, for the second part to this new game Friday, Hot Wheels on Caught the first part, it was more or less a tutorial on how to drive this thing, and as I was saying, I was going to come back and give you a full review, rate this game, tell you what I think about it. It's like that's what you guys really care about is what I think about stuff. So far, I like this game. Um, I feel like it's uh, one of those things I've mentioned before. If you are into certain things and there's a video game out for it, you're just going to go ape poopy. And you're just going to be more into it. You know, it's one of those things where if you're really into Hot Wheels cars, you're going to love this freaking game, I think, more than most people. Uh, even those who are really into racing games are going to like this uh, this title. Now, I, I do enjoy it. I think it speaks to the young boy in all of us, um, or the young, uh, just the young child in all of us. I'm sure, you know, there are girls out there, uh, women who also... Uh, still enjoy playing with Hot Wheels cars and grew up playing with Hot Wheels cars. Um, you know, I know, my sister and I used to play with them all the time, and I'm sure if you go and did an excavation in my backyard where I grew up, you would find dozens and dozens of these guys fossilized within the clay dirt remains. Um, <clears throat> you know, or the clay dirt crust, I rather you say. Uh, but you know, yeah, it's it's one of those things. Like I said, you know, if you're into like ultimate fighting, you play the ultimate fighting game, you're just gonna like it a lot more. And whatever. But this game, I think, speaks to everybody. I think this game just speaks to anybody who's just like got a childlike, you know, heart, and it's just you know into those things that remind you of your youth. It definitely speaks to me on that level. Uh, as I was saying before, you know, I grew up collecting Hot Wheels, and um, it's one of those things I still pick up to this day, you know, I'm still into video games, I'm still into comic books, I'm still into action figures, and I'm still into Hot Wheels, I'm still picking them up anytime there is a cool little car, as we were uh, just discussing, I'll go back real quick and show you here in our collection, uh, there's some, some cars even within this, uh, this game, I have this Hot Wheels car, uh, and then I know for sure, um, this one as well as in my collection. Actually, you know what? Uh, we, we spent a little time racing and um, I wasn't very good at that. <laughs> so let's actually just take a few minutes and talk for a second and just kind of click through some Hot Wheels cars and take a look at some of these guys. Got some of the monster trucks here. Very cool. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I think this game just, you know, speaks to the to the kid and all of us who just likes to have fun um, with little teeny uh, racing cars and, and PlayStation has put that in our hands in a, in a virtual way where we can have this virtual collection of cars here if we want. Uh, but yeah, like Hot Wheels are, are some of those things that I'm still going out, still buying. Hot Wheels actually uh, just released some fingerboards which is pretty cool. I know there's a lot of companies out there uh, that do um, fingerboards uh, and like ramps and stuff and, and uh, half pipes and all that. And Hot Wheels, Mattel has now um, released a uh, fingerboard collection. It's got uh, little accessories. Said, like scale. That's pretty. Look at that. Look at the gloss on that. Um, it's got some cool accessories as well as shoes. You can get Hot Wheels like fingerboard shoes. Oh, that's a that's a pretty one too. Um, I think I was saying uh, in the first part of this video, and I got kind of sidetracked. Uh, that like I think Matchbox has always had more traditional cars. You're gonna go to Matchbox and you're gonna find your tow trucks and your electrical engineering trucks and your pizza boy trucks and all of that jazz. Uh, hold on just one second. 
I guess I'm cool. Is that Skeletor? That is Skeletor. I didn't even look at the name. I could just tell. That is so far off. Um, but, you know, Hot Wheels is going to give you these, these rad He-Man vehicles there. The Skeletors. The Street Fighter Vices. Oh, that's hilarious with the cape in the back there. Purple wheels. That's pretty rad. What you barking about? Uh, you know, I kind of jumped into this uh, this title too. I didn't really, um, you know, check to make sure everybody was having a good week uh, with, with both these videos, both part one and, and part two. Um, just kind of jumped right into these guys. Hopefully, like, yeah, hope you guys have been enjoying your week. It hasn't been too crazy. Um, why are you fighting with the door on the cage? You just, you gotta. What are you doing? You gotta be getting into something. There's a ball right there. Get the ball. And I hope you guys are having um, a good Friday night. I hope you guys uh, you know, have a good weekend. I don't know if you guys have any plans. Maybe after seeing this title, uh, this game here, this review, you'll be making sure your PlayStation Plus membership is up to date and downloading some Hot Wheels. What is that? Hot Wheels. Oh, it's like a dog. Uh, the final flush. That's pretty cute. Now, this is easy. I can do this and play with the, the dog, too. The dog is going crazy. I feel so bad. Kind of like... Not, I didn't like... I don't want to say like I smack the dog and like you guys think I, like, I hit the dog or something. That's like sounds so bad. But I definitely like... Kind of like tapped him on his nose. Like like little pop. Like, hey, like... Quite like stop like you're going too crazy man it's like over here he's like he's nudging the playstation he's carrying the right now he's like i don't know if you can hear him it's like nudging the sofa nudging the door on their this crate that they don't even i don't think they use it there's not even a blanket i haven't used it the whole time i've been here he's just like attacking this is he's, he's, he's wants some attention man oh, he's got the ball now he's pretty good Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to poke you in the butt. My foot. No, I don't. Oh, I shouldn't have. I should just left him alone. All was good. I went to go rub his butt a little bit. Now I've awakened the beast again. I love these uh these little virtual cars here. They do a great job. Um, the textures. Um, I feel like the wheels and everything look like they're supposed to look. And, Paint job on these look really cool. These are really sharp. Like I said, I feel like if you're into Hot Wheels, I know there are guys who still they'll go to Target, they'll go to different WalMarts trying to find you know all the different cars for all the different sets and all that stuff. And people who go crazy. And I feel like this is a title um, that as a Hot Wheels fan you would really love just to like have a virtual. Uh, collection as well. I feel like if they could do something like that with like uh, I don't know, comics where you would have like a even if it was just like comic book covers you could look at but collect in a game I would totally spend hours um, just collecting and looking through uh, comic covers. I remember playing uh What's it? My favorite uh, Shin Mew, one of my favorite Dreamcast titles, and they have little toys that you can. Oh, this is Christmas pack. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, but Shin Mew had like little toys you could collect out of the uh, little bubblegum machines and stuff. And oh man, that was that was a lot of fun just to kind of collect those and look at those. There are a, a, a ton of cars too. So, like, if you're into Batman, if you're into Looney Tunes, if you're into what would you see, Ninja Turtles, if James Bond, got the 007 Ashton Martin. Come on, so cool.
Like I said, I mentioned uh, this. This game's available on uh, on PlayStation Plus. Uh, I, I, you know, I can't say enough about that. If you guys, you, know, you have a PlayStation and you don't have a PlayStation Plus membership, it's kind of like having a TV and not having like Netflix or something. You know, like what what are you what are you doing? They offer at least two free games every month, as well as tons of deals and all kinds of stuff. Discounts on games. So, there you go, buddy. So, don't waste any more time. Get your PlayStation Plus membership now. Sorry, I feel so bad. I'm like shooing the dog away with my foot. I'm trying to get some personal space here. But I'm, I want to review these games. It's Friday night. Well, technically, I guess it's, it's Saturday now. But I want to get a, 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 a new game Friday in on a Friday night for everybody out there. These are pretty cool. Monster trucks. Is that a fire truck? That's pretty rad. Classic here. I know this one wants to in my lap. Oh man, there's two of them. I've been having a really great week. I've been, uh, Dog sitting these these two beautiful these two beautiful boys and uh, I can't say enough about them. They've been really great. Being a little because of being a little needy right now, uh, but I've I've definitely uh, missed having a, a dog in my life. Uh, you know, I guess if you guys have been watching some of my heavier videos, you know uh, my wife and I have been going through some. Some not so fun times, and uh, you know, she has our our dog right now, and I miss her ton. And uh, being able to hang out with these guys and spend a little time around some, some great dogs, just going some beautiful. I'm not going to say the word some W A L K S, and that's been really really refreshing. All right, well there we go. We got a, a nice little. Uh, collection of cars there. Now, I was hoping to go to a different track, but it looks like I can't um, clear this uh, this track until I at least make the podium, maybe, and then get first. Good luck with that. Uh, but as I said last time uh, we were hanging out and I left you guys, I was like, yeah, we're going to do a, a review. We're going to actually rate this game. And as you guys know, I like to rate games um, based on an 8-bit rating system. 8 is the best bits you can get. 8 being the best bits you can get when I was growing up with the Nintendo system. So 8 the best you can get. Four's not so great. Anything less than that, you don't need to know about it. Ball went under the entertainment center, guys. Hold on. There we go, buddy. All right, now we're gonna gonna continue here. With this. Uh, Racing now. Um, I give this game all, all in all, uh, eight out of eight bits. I'm not a huge fan of the drifting aspect. I've never been um, a big drifter, as you can see. I don't like drifting. Um, never been my thing, and I hate a game that makes you makes you do it. I feel like that's kind of like a, a style. Preference, but wow, really? <laughs> we are never going to get off of this track. This is going to be the only track I'm ever going to play, unless I just want to make. My own. <laughs> I 
thought this would be like the best car because it's like the first one. Is that typically how that, that works? The first car they give you in a, in a racing game is typically the one you use to progress with throughout the whole game. He's got a, he's got a drift and I don't... Wow. Alright, never mind. I give this game two bits. This game sucks. I hate this game. It's garbage. Not really. The game is beautiful. Uh, the graphics are beautiful. The handling isn't bad. It's just I don't understand why. Uh, like that stuff. Like what is? Why? Why did that? I, I had no finger on the controller whatsoever. That was kind of weird. And uh, I'm not a big fan. Like I said, of the whole chipboard thing. I'm really surprised that this this car is. No better than some of the other ones, but isn't that typically the case? Am I, am I wrong? Like you get like the, in a racing game, typically the first car they give you is like the best one. Yeah, look at all those guys, man! Look at all those guys having a good time racing together. Back here, final lap all by myself. I'm guessing this is one of those games that's like more fun with other people. I haven't really quite experienced that yet. Got the two-player mode. You can race with your friends as well as online, so that's kind of cool. Oh, I've never done that before. Doing a little turbo action while drifting. Right. 12th place again. Let's see how many times Rob can come in 12th place. Maybe we'll make a uh, that song. My plans for Friday night. Go on, go on, go on. Shoot, shoot. No, no, no. My space. Go on. I need, I need this much space. I need this much space. Okay. All right, well, that car sucks. All right, let's try this guy. I said I was gonna use this guy. Let's try this one. This one's got like the worst stats, I feel like, though. Yeah, it's like I said, I'm house sitting and, and dog sitting for a friend of mine. He's got a son. He's got tons of like Lego and Nerf guns everywhere and stuff. It's kind of cool. I haven't seen any Hot Wheels cars. Uh, she was like, yeah, sometimes we'll, we'll create the dogs. Or well, I guess just the one when he's playing video games. I kind of understand that now. I'm starting to, I'm starting to get it. You guys do not understand. But you know it's funny, I've, there's there's been that conversation before, where, like you know, if you kind of whoa. Look at your existence through like your dog's eyes, like they must think we're insane. Like it's like we're like looking at our phones all the time and like uh, um, like staring at this this TV screen thing, like what what is he doing? Why's he got this thing in his hand? like staring at the screen for like hours. I want to say that was a shortcut, but more like a long cut. Alright, so why is this car like, it's got the worst stats, but it seems to be doing like the best so far in this race. So 
far the toaster's where it's at, right? What'd I come in? It wasn't 12. I blacked out right there at the end. Blacked out at the end. What happened? What did I do? I came in fourth? I came in fourth place? Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. But did I, did I make the podium? Did I make the podium? Was that the podium? Or did I have to like be in like third? Did I do it? Oh, no, I didn't. Man. <laughs> Damn it. All right, maybe this car, I don't know, man. This is, this game is tough. This is a tough game. This isn't easy, but I, yeah, oh man. I don't know. I might have to go back on the, uh, the rating here though, a little bit. There's a little, there's a little bit too much. Like, I feel like, I mean, come on, they can give you like a couple of options, some different tracks to kind of like give you some practice. Am I, am I wrong here? Am I, I mean, some some of the stuff isn't, why, why is it like the only racing game that's got everything like pretty much locked down 100% is on GTA? It's like, why can't just like a racing game get it right? It's like GTA has to get it right, you know? GTA is like got the best uh, shooter. GTA has got the best, uh, you know, it's just, it's, first person everything it's just i mean come on man why does it have to be one game to get it all right why can't we have a racing game uh with good handling a few tracks to get you started off with all right it just seems to be a little bit better here the best car. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I don't know. This is supposed to be like a fun racing game. Why is it so hard? It's supposed to be Hot Wheels. It's supposed to be fun. Why is it so challenging? Why do you have to drift? This is definitely going to be, I think, a sweeper. It's a, it's a fun game. It looks great. I can't knock it. I mean, really cool idea, but this this might just be a sweeper here. This might just be something I gotta take out of my. Uh, out of my application there. But if I can't get past. If I can't. I have to race one track over and over again. That's just brutal. Why? I guess they just give me. Two tracks? Final lap. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the podium in this race. You can't just keep it turbo. 
then you just you're all over the place. Michelangelo, the Turtle Man. Oh, no, man. Come on. No, not again. No, no, no. Oh. This game is so freaking frustrating. All right, guys. Uh, that's it for me, man. I can't. I can't take any more. This is brutal. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I know I suck. This is just... God, man. I, and, like... Supposed to be a game I would think for kids. I mean, it's Hot Wheels, you know. It's like, think like, oh, Dad, can I get the Hot Wheels game? Like, God, I can't imagine being four years old, five years old, six, seven, trying to play this freaking game, man. This thing is, probably, of course, they're probably like, oh, the, the kids, the kids are probably sweet at it, but I don't know, man. This is just, this is tough. Like, I don't understand why it's. I guess well, I did put it on medium, but why would you have to like play it on easy just to enjoy it? Why can't you play it on medium? Anyway, uh. Yeah, I don't know. I'm probably going to give this actually like a 6.5, even though it looks great. Uh, just a single fact that you can't choose it more than one track right off the jump. And the fact that you have to drift. Uh, just not really, really a big fan of that. Uh, but yeah, if you guys like Hot Wheels, you guys like a really challenging, frustrating racing game, then I definitely recommend you uh, downloading it this, this month. It's free with the PlayStation subscription, so you can't go wrong. And uh, this isn't goodbye, simply to be continued. Until next time, don't spend that quarter anywhere else. Thank you so much for hanging out. Take care, you guys.